right, coming up, breaking into the Chinese market, one green manufacturer's new deal with China. It could bring about 150 jobs to California. We're talking manufacturing jobs. And we're going to be speaking with the chief executive of Balcon. Now, capitalizing on growth and demand in China, one American manufacturer of electric tractors and utility vehicles is cracking open the market. Balcon Corporation recently signed a $16 million deal with a Chinese company to build drive systems for city buses in China. My next guest, Balwinder Samra, is the chief executive and president and chairman of the California-based Balcon. Good to have you with us. Oh, thank you. Balwinder, so can you give us, the, just for those that don't know about Balcon, give us a little bit of an uh, updated detail as to the role that you play, because you don't make the entire vehicle you specialize in the drivetrains. Well, there's uh, three distinct businesses we are in. Uh, we were founded uh, six years ago, and we are a publicly traded company, and we're in business of, in the United States, we deliver complete products, which is the trucks, tractors, uh, co complete uh, uh, products, but internationally, we have a localization strategy where we market our drive systems to local uh, vehicle manufacturers which implement our drive system and uh, sell the complete product. And also recently with signing a distribution agreement, an exclusive relationship with Winston Battery Company, now we're also in the energy storage business of lithium batteries. Okay, now the, the, Winston Bat the Winston Global Energy yes. Company, mm -hmm. that is a company that's owned by the chairman or run by the chairman of your company, Winston Chung, right? That is correct. Okay, mm -hmm. so you've got a deal with the Winston uh, Global Energy. They're going to be supplying their lithium-ion batteries. You're going to be supplying the drivetrains, and you're China. going to be making, what, about 300 buses? Yes, uh, 300 drive system, and this all came about by... Uh, we have been demonstrating our technology in China for the last uh, eight, nine months, and successful completion of that is what resulted into this deal. So we're shipping the drive system into China, which will uh, result into the largest demonstration of electric buses for inner city use in a single city. And that's what uh, our chairman, Winston Chung, is trying to show that inner city buses can be all electric, even with today's technologies. Now, you've been working at this a long time, right? I mean, you've been in this field for, for a while, and you see that this is just reaching a tipping point? Is this reaching a, a, a sort of a point in investors' appetite for alternative ideas, alternative energy ideas? Well, all the development in the electric vehicle industry has certainly proven that the propulsion technology is there at all levels, you know, from cars to trucks to heavy-duty trucks. And we have demonstrated that over the past five, six years. So the issue only remains is the battery energy density. And we believe that every 18 months, we, uh, we expect to see tripling of the battery energy capacity. And uh, we have already done that once, and we think we're about 18 months away from another tripling effect. This almost seems like the electronics days, you know, where uh, the processor speed was growing at a very fast rate. So we believe that we're about two generations away from that tipping point where uh, you will have enough energy uh, to drive your cars, uh, uh, trucks, and return home, and which, uh, where you can charge it at your businesses or your home, which eventually resolves this whole infrastructure question which people have. Now, right now, you're going to be getting the, what, the lithium-ion batteries from Winston Global Energy. They're going to be, those batteries will come here to the United States. Yes. You'll be able to then put those batteries into the trucks, the utility vehicles that I guess people could see, what, if they went to the port of Long Beach, right? Uh, port of Los Angeles. Los Angeles, yes. I beg your mm -hmm. pardon. So this is, this is a way for industrial customers to lower uh, their energy uh, emissions. The, the carbon footprint, we also have a contract from Ford Motor Company, which has been leading uh, on the logistics side to reduce their carbon footprint. So uh, you can also see our trucks there uh, operating uh, in zero emissions. So what happens next in terms of hiring? You're going to be adding about 150 jobs, manufacturing jobs in the United States? Uh, yes, we, we have been hiring at a very fast rate. Uh, we have uh, doubled our workforce in the last four weeks and continue to seek you know, uh, more employees for these high-paying green jobs. Uh, at the same time, the opportunity in global market, uh, even uh, India, China, uh, they are seeking uh, alternative uh, solutions uh, so their economy is not based on oil. 
uh, is aggressive, that aggressive growth we intend to participate in, and China is just one of our first steps. All right, I want to thank you very much, Bob Winder Samra, coming to us uh, as the chief executive of Balcon, giving us a little insight into manufacturing that's going to be taking place here in the United States. Certainly. This is a port of Los Angeles, Harbor City, California, that right? Near correct. San Pedro. Yes. Indeed. Mm -hmm. All right, thank you very much.